And we continue to follow our breaking news this morning. Two people have been rescued following a cargo plane crash off the coast of West Oahu. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live from Kalailoa with the very latest. Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. That's right. We continue to follow the downed Boeing 737 off the coast of Honolulu, just about two miles. And we have some new information for you all. So this is what we know so far. The FAA said it was the Trans Air Flight 810 traveling from Honolulu to Kahului, Maui overnight. And according to the FAA, the pilots were experiencing problems with the second engine and had to make an emergency landing. Now that landing happened around 2.30 this morning. Two pilots were rescued and saved. One pilot was airlifted by the U.S. Coast Guard. The other pilot was put on a rescue boat by the Honolulu Fire Department. And both pilots are actually at the Queens Medical Center right now with their conditions still unknown at this time. Now, the FAA does want to make this clear that the aircraft was not a 737 MAX, which was a plane that officials had grounded for 20 months through, through last November after two failed crashes. Now, as far as the plane goes, it's in the water, so officials will be assisting the situation throughout the day. They'll definitely keep us posted if there's any new information. And the U.S. Coast Guard wants boaters to stay clear from that area. It is two miles um, south from where we're at right now, so it's pretty difficult to see. I do want to show you this picture, though, that I found off Twitter from, um, and it shows a picture of just the actual route of where the plane had took off and had to make a reverse. You can see that this is a picture of the plane right here of that Trans Air 7, Boeing 737. And we have all this information on our website at khon2.com, but it was just a quick turnaround and thankfully both people were saved. Joining us this morning with more is Jai Cunningham with the State Department of Transportation from Lagoon Drive. Good morning, Jai. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm out here at Lagoon Drive, and I can tell you the, the airplane was reported to have engine troubles. It was a 737 that left roughly 1.30 in the morning. Called the FAA, called the tower here at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport with engine trouble. Said that uh, then, just a few minutes later, had engine trouble with the second engine. And at around 1.42, 1.46, the FAA, National Transportation Safety Board, they'll take over investigation here. But at around that time, is when we got a call the complaint had gone down. So we were able to dispatch our home firefighters, uh, our fire crew from here at Lagoon Drive. They were able to take a rescue boat out. We responded with U.S. Coast Guard as well. Uh, what we can tell you is both pilots were found. The U.S. Coast Guard transported one of the pilots, airlifted that pilot to Queens Medical Center. The other pilot was put on the rescue boat and then uh, taken here to Lagoon Drive. EMTs uh, from the city and county of Lagoon, they were able to take that person via ambulance uh, over to Queens Hospital. Uh, that uh, pilot said to have head injuries. I don't know a condition of those pilots, but again, can tell you that one was airlifted via U.S. Coast Guard to Queens Medical Center, the other taken here to Lagoon Drive. This is a, a airport fire station number two, uh, and then transported to Queens Medical Center. What we also can tell you uh, is that uh, as far as service here at Daniel K. Inouye International Airport, uh, service at Kalailoa Airport as well as Kahului, uh, it continues as planned today. So there is no disruption to any passenger service, uh, just to let you know. Um, and that's kind of what we have now. Now the Transportation uh, Safety Board, National Transportation Safety Board, they take over investigation of this. Uh, again, a 737 that went down. It was a cargo plane leaving Honolulu and headed to Kahului, Maui. It happened at around 1 this morning um, and, and that's kind of the details that we have at this time. Jai, do you have any details about how to get the plane out of the water? Don't have that and, and that gets sort of turned over to National, Trans uh, National Transportation Safety Board as far as uh, any sort of uh, debris that they collect uh, as far as trying to investigate into uh, that crash and what might have gone or happened with that engine or both those engines. Uh, that kind of gets turned over to National, Trans uh, National Transportation Safety Board now moving forward. Um, uh, with their investigation. And you say you don't have the conditions, current conditions, of the two people on board? I can tell you there were two pilots on board this air cargo plane that left uh, Daniel K. Inouye International Airport right around 1.30. It was destined for uh, Kahului when uh, that distress call came in. And Jai, from where you're at, could, can you see out there in the waters in terms of any smoke of the plane? No, can tell you this. The, the call was said to be the plane about two miles south of Kalailoa. 
uh, with the latitude longitude that they were able to give as far as their location, that puts it more around four miles south of Kalailua. So two to four miles offshore south of Kalailua. That's where the incident, that's where the crash took place. It didn't seem like they were in the air for long at all. I mean, they were going to Kahului and they had to turn around. Yeah, uh, and, and according to NBA, when they contacted us here at the Department of Transportation, uh, is that they had problems with an engine on takeoff, and not not long after had a problem with the second engine, uh, and, and then soon after that is when the stress call came in, and we traveled out to to a, a crash scene that was about to move out south. All right, there you have it, Jai Cunningham from the Department of Transportation. Thank you for the information and update this morning.